what we're going to be looking at today is three main places that we save our files to work and also where we take those files and put them once we're done with them. Each of the three places is a specific location and we use the three specific locations for specific reasons. So this is very, very vital for you to understand. It's not that hard, so we're going to go through it. And the nice thing is that once you learn it, you use it every single project. So once you learn it once, you're always going to use it. So the first place that I want to show you is NHS Technology Local. I'm going to go over here and click this folder on the desktop. And what you're going to see is the Finder window opens up and we see our class periods. Now you might not see yours right here because this video may be old, but what you will see is a class period that you have the semester and the period and what that class is. We use these folders day in, day out. We create these new folders every time we have a project as well. So pay close attention to the setup here. I'm going to click on period four photography. Inside of our class folder here, you're going to notice that each one of our projects has a very specific way that we name the files. So it starts with the year dash the day with a zero as a placeholder dash oh, I'm sorry the month with a zero as a placeholder dash the day and what that project is and then your name in the parentheses every single time we have a project you're going to name your project files folder this if we click on one we're going to see five folders within each one of these project files folders. You're going to have audio, finished photos, or if you're taking a video class, videos, media, photos, or if you're taking video, videos, and project files. Every single time we make a project folder, we're going to have these as our folders. Don't just throw things into the folder. You always want to be as organized as possible. And when I go back and I have to look for something or you have to look for something, you're going to know exactly where that is. So it's very important to understand that when we're looking at our local, we are inside of the right class folder. We create the protocol here for our project files folder. And inside that project file folder, we're going to create those five folders. If you get lost, always ask me for help. Or there's also little cheat sheets at every single one of the bays around that will show you the difference between each one of our storage locations. So that's it for this first one. Next time we're going to look at our network attached storage and when we use that.